I'm here to represent everyone in the district, whether you voted for me or didn't vote for me. And, and that's the job I will continue to do on your behalf. So. Tonight, West Michigan Congressman Justin Amash back in his home district. He hosted a town hall meeting right after making another call pushing for the impeachment of President Trump. Amash spoke for nearly two hours and took questions from constituents, some of them on board with his message, others fired up and fighting back. 24-hour News 8's Marvis Herring was there for all of it. Have you uh, read in any interesting tweets lately? Yeah. All right. The congressman started with a joke, but the mood shifted quickly. You have spent the last two years failing to do your job, which is to directly represent the popular will of your constituents. That's that is my, that is your job. That's not my job. No, I'm I, sorry. I, I double checked online before I wrote that in my notes. So it is your job. My, it's called my house job is job. To, you can read it yourself. My job is to uphold the Constitution. No, that's not that house that, that is my job. That's not I spoke one-on-one -on -one with Anna Timmer, who tells me she not only supported the congressman since 2010, she also worked for his campaign. She feels betrayed that Amash is not supporting the Republican president or the West Michigan community that Amash serves. Have you read the Mueller report? No, I have not. So do you feel that it's fair for you to give a, you know, suggestion if you haven't even read the report? Um, I don't believe that me reading a 448-page report by someone who I don't even respect, I don't respect Mueller, I didn't ever feel that the investigation was legitimate. Amash says he did read the report every page, telling the crowd his position is based on right and wrong, not political party. We owe it to the American people to, uh, to represent them, to ensure that the people we have in office are doing the right thing, are of good character aren't violating the public trust. And, um, if there was an obstruction of justice, do you think that Trump should be held accountable for that? Or do you think that it should just be brushed under the rug? Um, so tell me what corrupt intent has been proven about Trump uh, to obstruct justice in the investigation. I'm asking you if there is obstruction of justice, do you believe that he should report, be held accountable? The report is done, and there was no corrupt intent to obstruct justice found. So again, do you believe if there was an obstruction of justice that Who's they... Who's relitigating it? Who's relitigating it right now? Who's relitigating whether... Or question, that's okay. Justin Amash says he's the same fair conservative congressman that his district voted for. I haven't changed. I'm, I'm who I said I, I was. I'm a principled constitutional conservative who has stayed consistent. In Grand Rapids, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.